And we're back in the fourth inning. This uh, brought to you by Colors Wheelchair. This great uh, chance for us to see some great softball action. This is an important game here. And Brent and I were just talking about just such great stuff. I'm enjoying this conversation. And uh, let's see if who's going to come out here smashing. Columbus needs to really answer that. Yeah, I, I'm thinking this is their inning for Columbus to uh, open it up a little bit and get a few more runs back on the board just to keep it keep it interesting. Because what the score what the score we got here now? It's seven to uh, three. Seven to three, which is still close. But I think if they get within two runs, that's going to drop in front of him oh, yeah, and over his head possibly. A, but it's going to be safe, safe. At first. And Jeff Lu uh, Lewis getting that nice single there. Yeah, the base to base is in. Uh, this softball game isn't as common as it is in baseball, so you're usually looking for that extra base hit, but I think they're going to open it up here. they got a couple good strong hitters that can put the ball in the alleys. That's where you want well, the ball to be in the alleys and get guys running, get well, guys moving. Yeah, and Jeff was, uh, is now two for two, and uh, Charlie Kuhn was out of single his last time up, and this is where it all started where they got their runs, so they, they're right back at it. This is the exact part of the lineup that hurt us when we played them earlier today. We had a much closer game than we had anticipated and wanted to, but Columbus does that to us every year. That's wow, a long that shot. Is gonna that be might be out of here. Out of here. That is out There's of here. A home run and it's in Another the home run. A two-run bomb by Charlie Coon. That was not just a uh, fly ball. That was a line drive shot. The Twins are out there hanging out watching some softball, and they just... Yeah. Almost caught a souvenir ball. I think that one of those guys, that might yeah. have been Ricker out there. Rickford caught that ball, Scotty. Well, Scott Rickford was. I like to see the long ball. Yeah, yeah, that I was. I think good. everybody wants to see a long ball. Now that more people are doing it, well, you know what I have to more say players is, got it. I, you know what? I have to say that they're probably rooting for the Columbus, you know. Yeah. This, this, this whole thing. I don't know. Who do you think they're? Maybe they're rooting for the, the, the Saints. No, they're not. I can tell you right now, they're not rooting for their, their team. They play these guys a lot, and they're just. They, they like the guys, but they want to see somebody else new. You know, after you play the same team so many times, they want to play somebody different. Even if it's new competition that is a better or worse team, they like to see a new competition. Well, that puts it into a two-run game here. And that's it. you were saying just that, uh, Brett. You thought that this is where it's going to happen, that they were going to start making a move. And it, they've got no one out. And up is uh, Dave Anders, who had a double his last time up. The biggest thing about uh, you might have seen earlier, I think today when you announced some games when they intentionally walk me, that's their whole intention behind that is to keep our bench down, you know, not keep everybody motivated. You just seen right there a home run can turn your team around and get you fired up right back in the game as quick as anything can happen. And that's what the home run ball's around for, and that's just what happened. And we'll see if this gets their team fired up a little bit, Columbus. To now, how, how do you when you see uh, Wyatt getting walked twice? I mean, you must, you must have had an experience because you, you Oh, my gosh. One. Ooh, that's a ball that's going to be a, a tough play if it stays in. Placement. It is. So you hear Doug how much louder they are right now, cheering? Yeah. It's just a long ball it. like that gets them going. But, no, I, I've talked to many players. Kurt Smith used to never get walked. He got walked a couple times yesterday and came to me. And he said, man, I got walked twice today. I said, yeah, welcome to the club. So gave him a, <laughs> gave him a drink after the game and said, yep, get used to it. It's going to keep happening. <laughs> Probably, but but did, did, did they tell him why he walked him? It was uh, nothing to do with his hitting? No. For Wyatt? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. They just uh, didn't want to see him uh, his face at the plate. I don't oh, know. Oh, my guys have put up through five years of seeing me through national, intentionally walked. Ooh, that's going to be a good pl place. That's over his head. Yeah, went lucky. Thought he had it. And here it comes, coming to third. Oh, he got stuck at short. I don't know what happened with him. Are you ready to Brandon? Oh, he got in the third. So, Look first and third. That was a big, big hit from us. Uh, See how that John home run ball just changes the game? These guys are getting all fired up. They're having fun. They're Four hits to score in a row. Runs. It just gets you back into a game. I mean, our game earlier today was the same way. You know, we were kind of lolly, lolly gagging around and kind of not really into it. And we, once a couple of long balls go, a team gets fired up, and that's what everybody wants to see as a team into the game. Well, they have two runs, and they've got men in first and third, and there's no outs here. And uh, Columbus seems to, to have something going here. But yeah, back to Wyatt and get intentionally walked. I mean, my teammates have seen me getting walked for five oh, yeah. years, and they're and they know how I feel getting walked uh, 40 times in a national tournament, 30 times, and and they say if they're going to do it to us, let's do it to somebody else, and that's where where we're at with Wyatt. We don't want to get burned that's either. Gonna, so. That's going to be an RBI, at uh -oh. least, and it's going to be a single as he goes down. Oh. Men safe at first and second. 
Columbus is right back in this game. I, oh, that's no. just the heart of their lineup is that four, five, six guys that can just drive oh. the ball and just put it in play hard. That's what you need is a guy that wants to just put it in play yeah. hard and line drives. Well, you have five hits in a row here. We, all singles except for that uh, that bomb. But yeah, the singles game here can very well keep your team in it because the more guys you can get through that lineup, the quicker you're back through the middle of your lineup again and you're scoring runs. Oh, Doug DeMoss who struck out last time. Let's see if he's going to do this time. The shortstop. He's, he's going to foul He's one of their off. newer players, I believe, that plays basketball with them, I think I heard. But I don't know if that's 100% true or not. But no. he has a good, he's got a good hand at shortstop. When I see a good defensive player, I usually can. Well, I, you can't be playing, uh, can't be that new in some ways because he's the one who brought in the coach, so. Oh. So. Gotcha. So anyway. The wind's picking up. Isn't yeah. this a lot better than Florida? Oh, I love it. Boy, no humidity. <laughs> well, I don't know warm, about that year around, but yeah. Oh, well, wait, I can say it's nice here in this winter. Take a break, huh? Yeah. Take a break from the humidity. Yeah, I lived outside of Florida, and I said, geez, I'm no hurry to move back. I like Florida. I love it, but geez, it gets warm in the summertime. Yeah, I know. If you were there, oh, there's a nice shot. That's going to be trouble. Oh, That's right between them again. That's going to tie the game. And that may be the There's game. There's another one in. And he's still on a... Bird a, doesn't look too happy out there. That, but, uh, I don't know if that's a double, but it certainly was misplayed there. But, boy, we have just seen the worm turn, as they say. Five runs have scored in this inning. They're back in this game. They got all the momentum now. Back it's just so funny game. how this softball and baseball game can turn around with the swing of one pitch. One pitch, ball goes over the fence. He's got to get the momentum right back, and they're scoring, take the lead, and we're off and running again. Right. How many outs we got? No, no outs. No outs still. So, I mean, this inning can blow up to be a big inning. We, we have, we have uh, Danny White, the quad, and then we're back up to the top of the top order. Top of the order again, which that's what they want to have happen. I mean, this is... The top of the order has done nothing so far. The one, two, and three have done absolutely nothing. Isn't that interesting? You can see that play out there again. That's just the toughest play in the outfields. When that ball's rolling between two outfielders, right in between them both, it's like, who's got it? Which person is supposed to take the ball? And it's hard to call somebody off and say, I got it, he's got it. And little miscommunication out yeah. there, ball rolls right through. And there it simple, is. a simple play turns into a big error that costs him some runs. By the way, in your game uh, that we uh, called, Keith Wallace was the. Uh, doing the uh, color with me and yeah. he said I'm the one who started walking he was he's Brent, he said, me, <laughs> me and Keith go way back and it still kind of perturbs me but he's the one that started the whole walking theory and but uh, Keith's he's a good guy. guy he's played he's played baseball yeah. for a good amount of time he understands the game but uh, that's why I wanted to give him a little bit of Ooh, some great bunt out there Brands tag tag him out him out. Wow. but the run advance is the third and that is that is a good job. No double play option here. And, uh, and up comes Bill Wolf. And Bill has yet to do anything for this team. But he, I'm sure that's frustrating him. Because he's normally, you know, the number one batter they usually figure is going to get on base. Got to have a little bit of speed and get things started for the team. Yeah, that's your, your leadoff is one of your most important guys in this game. Just speed-wise, but also just being consistent and you know, hitting your five, six hundred to get on base for the rest of the team that's coming behind you. Oh, he a, oh, oh we got lined and off. We got double him. play. And that ends the Pioneers with that beautiful uh, catch there. And uh, but not before they score five runs to give them an eight-seven lead. And let's see what the Saints have to say about that. Exciting game. Back and forth. That's the kind of game you want to see played. I don't know many teams that want to see certain teams come out and score 10-15 and be 10-15 to the one route. And It's fun to see a game go back and forth, especially when it means so much. These guys, if they win this game tonight, they're going to play tomorrow morning. If they could win that game, they're playing again the championship game. So these guys are out here to to play. To yeah, they are. To go for a championship. They're not out here just to, you know, play for third, fourth, fifth, whatever the case is. And the loser of this game is going to go off. Let's see where they end up playing. Um, they end up being the fourth place finisher. I think they're done. Yeah, That's it. This is done. it. So this is uh, one of these teams is going to be like uh, going to either be 
The Saints go marching out or goodbye Columbus. One of those two. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the game, when the white ball comes out again. The white ball. The yeah. white ball. It's got a different bounce, what we're talking about. <laughs> got a different bounce out there. Evan Thorne leading off. Yep. Evan's uh, one for two with a fly out and a single. Let's see what he's going to do here. I love the fresh ball. I've been known once or twice to pull a couple old balls foul because I want to see a new ball travel a little farther. But uh -huh. I guess I'm testifying to that now. It's, yeah, this is recorded, so I'm it's, telling all my secrets today. <laughs> that I'm telling you, that live ball travels, you know, 10 to 20 feet farther. Well, let's see what Evan does these with these old balls. I'll tell you what. Evan hit that ball hard last time, I remember. Yeah, well, Evan, Evan needs to, um, you know, get things started. They, they don't want the momentum to shift too much. They need to do something. Else. And he hits it way high. And it's deep, but it is caught for another fly out. That's his second fly out like that. So, uh, Joe's been that? consistent out there. He's been playing for a few years. and Yeah, Joe Wickcap with a great catch. He is. He uses his body out there and keeps that ball trapped so it ain't going to bounce off his hands and roll away. He's so been out there and a good defensive player. That Got a fan the, out in the middle of the field. Uh, yeah, it's Delivering saying, water, I think, to the umpires. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, I thought she was one of those ones just wanted to be on the camera. <laughs> you know, you see, it happens all the time at the trap. You know, they used to well, run around and chase him and have to tackle. What was that lady called in the major leagues? The kissing, the kissing, uh, what's, what was her yeah. name? Uh, kissing lady, kissing, I can't remember what it was. She ran on the field. And yeah. Can't remember her name. Scotty Berg, by the way, up. Uh, he's two for two with a double and a single. Scott's consistent. He just get the ball lying hard. Ooh. One of the best players in the games on the line to score runs. Well, I think, Scotty, we talked about being a Hall of Fame kind of guy, and uh, he's uh, been MVP, batting titles many years. Before you and uh, your Matt got in there and started to, <laughs> to take yeah, over a little bit. Look at this. He's turned the bat around. He gets upset uh -huh. like I do sometimes when you get these crappy pitches that aren't even close to strikes. Balls and strikes, and they threw a strike too. He flips it around. There he goes. Oh, look at him! That that's not going to be good. He's going to be thrown out. That's not going to be good. He got thrown out. Ground out, Scotty Berg, and they're two away. One, two. Go the Saints. Sometimes you can do that. You can get overconfident up there. You you know you've been hitting the ball the last two three times very well and. You take a swing at a pitch that you probably normally wouldn't hit and turns into something else that you don't want to have happen, which is an out. So the winner of this is in the uh, running for first, second, or third, and the loser is going to be the fourth place finisher. You so we it. know that this is what happened to the Cubs last year. Yep. This is where they ended up faltering. And this year they didn't do as well. Yeah, we came to the loser's bracket last year, and sometimes it's a good thing because there's always a psyche in this game. It's like, you know, the Twins got to the point this afternoon. Now they don't play again until 10.30 tomorrow morning. They don't get a warm-up, really. They don't get to go out there and work the kinks out. I know they're fresh, but you've seen that in the College World Series this year when uh, Georgia had to play against uh, oh, yeah. uh, Fresno State. And, uh, you know, the fresh team doesn't necessarily always win. Some of the teams that keep playing through the loser's bracket keeping their bats alive and keeping keeping the play alive and they know they get the confidence behind them to keep going so it's always one of those things you never can tell who's going to always win who's always going to lose and that's why we come out and play I mean, lucky by the way had a double and then he struck out and Ooh, big swing just like that with a swing you can like see that. him just pulling his front shoulder way off and any uh any hitting instructor will tell you, if you can't see the ball when you make contact with the ball, it ain't going to go where you want it to go, and you're not going to even make contact with it. So my advice is somebody to work with them and keep his shoulder closed on this pitch and make sure he's driving through the ball, not pulling off the ball. Yeah. And lucky if you're watching this game in the future on X Able, maybe tonight or tomorrow or whenever, maybe, depending on how well you do. Send me a check. That's $30 of advice right there. <laughs> you just heard, a, you heard some <laughs> advice there for next year. And, uh, so maybe we regret, we may regret that. <laughs> it's a high fly ball. Oh, that ball bounces right in between, and he is safe at first. So those balls are so tough to play, those 100-foot, 90-foot fly ball shots. Because the outfield line out there, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't see it. Maybe you can from a, a different angle than we're not at. But there's a 100-foot line out there, and they're not, the outfielder is not allowed to come in front of that line. Right. So 
even the ball is a high fly ball, you're like, why can't that guy run in there and catch it? Well, they're going to cover 20, 30 feet, and it just doesn't happen. And that little blooper just makes you so mad defensively out there. Yeah. You just get so frustrated with these little bloopers. Hey, if the guy hits it over the fence, he beats us. Bloopers, that gets frustrating. I uh, don't call them Texas leaguers here, huh? Yeah. I haven't heard that term for a while since baseball. I don't know what the wheelchair softball guys call them. <laughs> well, we, need a, we need a term. We need a term. We should make something like that up for wheelchair yeah. softball. I don't know what we should call them. I, there's a couple of names that need to be changed in this game. <laughs> in fact, I mean, I, I keep Modify saying our own. you don't walk. You wheel. You wheel down to first? Yeah, so it should be a wheelie. Yeah. Oh, girl with a uh, mad cut there, but it's foul. Yeah, I mean, we should change it. I mean, get with the media here, you know? We got the power <laughs> of the media. Let's do it. Okay. Let's it's rule on that now. now. Let's make it official. Vote. There it is. <laughs> we got two. We need one more. We'll make it a third person. We'll vote it in. Uh, I'll get the Robert's camera, rule I'll get of order. The camera person up there, Takia, to take it. Give Takia, us that vote. what do you vote on on that up there? You like a wheelie, Takia? Do you like it called a wheelie? She, she said, said no. no. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> two to one. We win. <laughs> Uh, I told some of the guys in their team, all these intentional walks I get, I'm going to have a special chair for running and one for hitting. <laughs> so I don't oh, need to wow, use that's one. a oh, big hit. The bat one for that's me. a big hit. That's going to go right big to the wall. Right over. Oh, Almost he's in. Over. And he's lucky. Look at Shooter's Wheelie. Dickey. He's got third Look if he Dickey. wants to take it. He's, he's got coming. third. He's got the momentum. He's coming in. And Manny gets it in the third. And I tell you what, there's a run scoring for those Saints after two straight outs. Uh, I, would you give him a triple on that one? That's a legitimate triple. I'd That's legitimate. So. There wasn't even a uh, muffle of the ball and muffle of throw. And He's three for three. Triple. He's on fire. Junior's consistent. Junior's a very consistent player. And sometimes you just get tired of seeing a guy like that go up there and hit 7,800 against you all day long. I have to thank the uh, support crew we have here of Greg Suing uh, taking care to keep us well lubricated. <laughs> Yeah, we don't leave home very far without a cooler. Make sure we have drinks. Welcome to Nebraska, Rob. Welcome to Nebraska. <laughs> Brendan Dowd's up at that. <laughs> yeah. And Brendan, by the way, one for two with a single. Brendan likes that outside pitch. You'll see him. That was the inside pitch there. You can tell. He wants that outside pitch like right and here. There it is. There it is. It hit strong. It. And that was an out. Ball. And they didn't even need to worry about that. And that ends the inning. Uh, but not before one more run scores for the Saints. And, uh, and the score here, I think, is tied up 8-8. Yep. 8-8. Eight, eight. So we have a tie game, and we'll be right back on X-Able for the fifth inning. <laughs> 